What's going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm doing a little reel review. So I'm gonna break down two reels that we're testing out today. They came from Runkle and Cast King. They're actually these two reels right here. So we got the Runkle Titan 2, and then we've got the Cast King Royal Legend 2. So both pretty new budget area reels, I would say. They're in that realm of uh, the under $70 price range. In fact, you can find that Runkle right now for like 50 something bucks. And then the Cast King is around $33. I think on the surface, they both look good. Then we're gonna go fish with them for a little bit. So we're gonna see if they are solid. We'll see how they hold up. See if we can catch some fish. Maybe we can really put them to the test. Maybe we can get some drag screaming. I don't know. Specs are pretty close on these. Price difference really is uh, between the graphite frame that you're getting from that casking versus the all metal frame from the Runkle. So the Runkle is a little bit heavier duty. It's a little bit more costly because of that, about 20 bucks more for that reel. Ultimately, we're just trying to decide, man, if you're looking to save some money, are these two reels good options for you and which one might be the better option? So we're gonna get to all that here in a second. If you guys like the content, you're looking for more gear reviews, unboxings, fishing videos, all that stuff, we do it right here on the channel. So be sure to subscribe, smash the like, and ring that notification bell. We also do a live every single Thursday, 8 p.m. Eastern. So pop on over on a Thursday, check it out and talk to us there. All right, folks. I'm gonna start out the day with these two. Ugh. Got them paired up on very similar rods. So these are both seven foot medium power rod setups. A little more finessey. They're both fast action too. So, I mean, it should be pretty much the same feel, but we got a Ducket Silverado. And then we got one of the newer uh, Guggen Squad finesse rods. Never fished this spot. So this is all new territory for me. I'm gonna have to watch these pads, hopefully not get hung up on them, but it would be a good spot. Worst case, I figured I could come back with my kayak. All I have is these sit inside right now because the Hobie, old Snorlax, at the Poke Center, trying to get all healed up. Oh, this looks fantabulous. Dude, this is a Ned Rig spot all day, actually. So I'm just gonna dig into a few of these spots here. Walk back a ways first. All right, change to a weedless approach. Casting feels pretty good. Still throwing pretty light baits. The casting has the lower drag rating, 17 pounds. The Runkle is 33. So it's like one of those major differences here. Make sure I've got some drag on at all. So we're just gonna try flipping a few times here. See if something's hanging out by this dam. Reeling on this feels pretty darn smooth. Again, this is the cast king. So the main difference between these two is the graphite versus the all metal frame. And I will say, although the weights are listed where this is actually supposed to be 9.1 ounces, it's heavier. And the Runkle is actually supposed to be 8.8. .8. This reel feels way lighter. So explain that to me. I don't know what's going on there. I will say I like the feel of this knob. I haven't fished the Runkle too much yet, so we'll see comparison wise. Got him. That's fish. That's bass. That's a nice bass. Up the hill, up the hill, up the hill. Out of the weeds. Dang it. Got him. He's in this tree. You got stuck in a tree, dude. Heck yeah, there you go. First bass on the cast king. Not a bad one. Look for a little bank. A little bank fishy right there. Get homeboy back in the water. There you go, bud. Oh. That's one. Good old donkey tail coming in hot. It's my boy Ethan Duvetter, online outdoorsman over at Mule Fishing. I'm telling you guys, these things are the juice. This one is called Prairie Fire orange green pumpkin great little combo that little dinky poo ate it right up ned rigs for the win ned rig nerds first catch on the royal legend felt pretty good i mean it's a dink obviously we got 17 pounds of drag i am pulling through weeds but we'd have to catch a five pounder for us to really put that to a test so don't expect that to happen in this video or anything 
it's kind of the perfect type of fishing bank where you got this little bit of cover between you and the water. Fish don't notice you as easily. Quick toss right there. Let's try switching setups here. All right, so next up, got the Runkle. You can already tell it's a much bigger body to it. Just look at the two right there. So this one's longer, that Runkle. And it's got that all metal frame. So like I said, it feels a little heavier, but they're roughly the same weight. It's weird. Maybe that's all in my head. Could be. Very well could be. Casting felt real smooth. Let's see if Shark Deuce pulls anything out for us today. Go for today, just get like one fish at least on each setup, just so we can see how it feels pulling them in. Got him. Little guy. Oh, lost him. Nope, got him. <laughs> oh, ooh. Check this buddy out. Yeah, buddy. Little dude, but I'll take it any day. See a bunch of baby bass just came up shallow. So Shark Deuce does it. Didn't have my drag on on that. This one does have a 33 pound drag. Based on today's results, that's gonna be overkill, but that's fine. All right, there we go. We're one and one right now. So again, the bodies on the board is the goal. Get a couple bites, feel out both reels, get comfortable. Also, consequently, first time I'm fishing the Guggen rod. This is the first fish on this rod. Starting out with dinks. <laughs> dinks for life. I know there's gonna be some decent bass in the tall weeds here. Just gotta search them out. I think they'll come out for the old shark deucer. This one you'll see in the office video has this braid grip, that braid spool, braid ready spool. That's kind of nice. Feels like it just reels that much better. The line's not slipping at all. We'll say it feels like the Runkle is a little bit easier to cast further than the Cast King. Again, same weight net head, same length rod, same action, everything. If I had had two of you know either of these rods, I would have had the same rod set up, but I don't. All right, let's get to a skinnier bank section or one that I can walk down. Love to just be in the water, actually, if I can be. There we go. All right, let's switch out again. Just go back to the donk. Oh, this water feels good, you guys. Water feels good. Pretty big gill has it in his mouth. Got him. It's two on the donk. Decent little. Was that a red ear? Yo, check out the red right there. That is another hybrid. Look at that, dude. There's some crazy creatures out here. Come on now. Later, bud. All right, so, so far, donk is 2-1. Let's see what else we can do here. That was right in front of me. They are not skittish. They are feisty right now. All the, uh, the workings for a good day. I'm telling you guys, I really like the feel of this rod. I know this is uh, about the reels today, but I'm enjoying this rod setup. You got all these weeds. I'll throw some cranks. Little mini cranks would be good. I have to go to one more spot before we call it a day. Got him. Oh no. That was a good one. Shoot. You see that rod flex? That was a good fish. Shoot. Right here, dude. Followed me up off the drop. Oh. Oh my God. Something was there. Something was sipping. Got him. Got him. Yep. Oh, wrapped him. What the heck? Sorry, pal. Not sure how that happened. There we go. Got him unwrapped. Yo! Heck yeah, dude. This is why we carry him. Later, pal. I will say, like, you can definitely tell the size difference on the Runkle. It's a little big. So fishing further out seems to be the trick for bass right now. They're sitting right off the edge. All the bait fish getting pushed this way. So we're just gonna fish the back side of this weed edge and uh, hope for the best. Hopefully we can get a few more. I do you wanna throw topwater a little bit? Throw some poppers. Oh, 
a little bite. <laughs> There's a hole right there. Murder hole. Got him. Another little guy. Another decent little guy. Yeah, buddy. All right, pal. We'll see ya. Oh, yeah. Sweet. All right, so we just switched out to top water. We've got a popper on with my Guggen slash Runkle. And casting's good. Might be a bottom bite game today. Got him. Just as I said, it might be a bottom bite game. Oh, he's digging. Using all that drag here. Oh, yeah. Best of the day so far. Best of the day so far. Yeah, buddy. There we go. Got him. Whew. That's sweet. That was a sweet hit. That's a dark one. Look at that. Juicy little critter. Let's get him out of here. Later, bud. Gosh dang, got that top water, dude. Heck yeah, man. I've not had top water in a minute. Why has he got to come this close? So much lake to run around. Oh, Jimbo, literally just doing donuts by me. Cool, cool, cool. It's fine. That would be within 100 yards of me. My last cast here, we're moving. Bye, Jimmy. Tube and Tony. There we go. Oh yeah. One for the road here. That's right there. Yep. Got him. No. Shoot. That was definitely a bass right there. That was the one. Still there. He's taking it again. No freaking way. No freaking way. Got him this time. Oh, fish of the day to end the day. There we go. That is a fish. I can't believe he came back for it. Wow. That is oh, awesome. Great. Fantastic. Thanks, friend. Oh, that was a much better fish. All right, guys, that was a blast. Uh, got a chance to fish both of these reels pretty extensively. Uh, we caught fish about an equal amount on both of these reels. So I, I can say I kind of put them through the ringer. Tried a couple different baits. We threw some body baits. We went top water. We went Ned rigs. Had some mini cranks on there as well. So just trying different things, seeing how they cast, seeing how they reel, getting a feel for them. For the most part, these are spinning reels. It's kind of hard to mess them up. All right, obviously it'd be better if I could get these out on the water a whole bunch more, but just from today, I feel like I got what I needed. So you guys can check the spec sheets all you want. Go on Amazon, go look these up. Again, that Cast King's running about 33 bucks right now. You can get the Runkle for about 53 bucks. So there's a $20 difference. These aren't exactly on the same playing field. Really what you're paying for in that 20 bucks is the metal frame on the Runkle. As far as the casking goes, you got a graphite frame with an aluminum spool. On the Runkel, we got a metal frame. It feels heavier, even though the weight is essentially the same, which is weird to me. I think it's kind of in my head. Uh, and then you got the aluminum spool as well. This one has a braid ready spool, which means it's got like a little groove pattern into it. It just means that the, the line should spool a little more freely. And I did notice that on the water. And this is your standard aluminum spool, meant mostly for like monofilament line or maybe fluoro. Uh, but if you go braid to floral leader, which is what I always do, it's just not quite gonna cast as well, but it still casts just fine. Again, these are spinning reels. It's kind of hard to mess them up, but just based on what I experienced today, I would say if you're looking for a super low budget reel that feels good, this cast king is kind of a killer. I like the feel of the knob. It's more of that rubber knob. Uh, that feels good. It's a five plus one bearing system, so it's pretty smooth. Uh, you've got you know all the aluminum upper here, so that feels durable enough. It is a graphite main frame, so you know is it going to last uh, uh, that long? I don't know. Do I care at 33 bucks? Not really. That's a pretty darn cheap reel, and it looks pretty gosh dang good too. So 
I mean, I, I felt pretty good about this reel. I did actually enjoy fishing with that one. As far as the Runkle, I feel like if you've got the extra 20 bucks, it's kind of a no brainer at that point. You've got a metal frame. This is definitely gonna last longer. Uh, both of these are well built. Both of these are well built. This thing has a ton more reviews, but it is not quite as new as that Royal Legend. Uh, but again, for $51, like you've got a pretty heavy duty reel. That said, I look for a couple other things when it comes to these reels. So the feel of the knob and you know just overall mechanics and feel of those mechanics and how smooth it feels is important. This feels extremely smooth. It's nine plus one bearings. So, I mean, it should feel smooth. Castability is, is probably the best of the two. This one casts way more easily. I could cast it further, felt good. Uh, to me, it just feels maybe a little overbuilt, a little bigger. It is bulkier compared to that casking. It's a little bulkier, feels heavier. Uh, it's not quite as comfortable. That metal grip right there is not as comfortable as the graphite on the cast king. So for me, personal, personal preference here, I actually feel like I liked this reel better as far as when I was fishing. I tried to alternate, so I'd like catch a fish, switch reels up, you know, try and go back and forth. So I think I gave them equal time on the water. And I'll just say, as far as that comfortability level, the casking sort of won for me. Uh, I was definitely a fan of this. They're about the same gear ratio. They're both 2000 size reels. They both have enough bearings. I mean, when you look at like nine plus, you got two bearings right here. That just makes that, look at that. That knob spins smoothly. This knob does not have bearings just has bushings in there. So, I mean, it's still not a big difference, but bearings get stashed all over the place in these reels or all over the place. So, uh, as far as smoothness, this thing is definitely a little bit more smooth. It has more bearings, so it should be, but to me, it's a bit bulkier, a bit heavier. It's not quite like the type of reel that I seek out. As far as durability, it's gonna win on durability because you got graphite. It's lighter, it's cheaper for them to produce. It's just not as heavy duty, it's not overbuilt, it's not gonna last if you keep dropping this thing. And I mean, I can already see, maybe you guys can see right here, I'm getting scuffs in the paint. I mean, it's not super heavy duty, like coated paint that's gonna last forever. And that's just for me, like setting it down on the bank, like in bushes. Like I wasn't on the rocks, I didn't throw this thing. Just set it down. So again, I mean, it's graphite. It's gonna get beat up. That's just kind of what you're getting into. So between the two reels, for me personally, it's the lighter, more comfortable setup. Uh, I'll probably beat it up and break it, but for 30 bucks, I just don't care as much. I would say if you're gonna beat the crap out of it and you want it to last longer, Runkle's probably your choice. It's a metal frame. So naturally it's gonna do that. It's gonna last a lot longer. All right, there you guys have it. I've kind of given you the ins and outs on both these reels. We've gone in depth in the office. Uh, hopefully that was helpful for you guys. Again, you can read the specs all you want, but what does that really tell you? You really gotta like pick these things up, get them out on the water, fish with them for a while, like a good while. We were out here three hours or so put them through the ringer and then see how you feel, right? And I highly encourage you, if you have a store near you that carries stuff like this, that you go pick them up. Unfortunately, you're not gonna find these in stores. These are Amazon brands, they're online brands, they're sold online. So these, uh, you know, Runkle, Casking, PC Fun, all those things, you know, you're gonna find those online. You're not gonna find them in a Bass Pro. You're not gonna be able to put them to the test out of Dick's Sporting Goods. Just is what it is, but I can tell you from my experience today, I, I got a good feel for both of them. I do like them both for different purposes. My my pickup of the day would be that casking. So that's just kind of my opinion on, on this whole thing. Real quick, wanna thank both companies for sending these reels to me. So these guys are awesome for just sending these on over for me to test out. So Runkle, thank you, casking, thank you. Got a chance to put these things to the test don't have a ton of spinning reels. So it was cool to, you know, feel it out, get some variety there. Uh, most of what I've owned in the past would be like your Shimano's Akumas. So this is my first step dabbling into like that Amazon market, which a lot of fishermen and women are in that market just to kind of budget, right? You want to save a little bit on a spinning reel. It's kind of a no brainer. You can definitely skimp a little bit more on those. I feel as long as you're not going after gigantic monster fish or, or saltwater fish. So again, hopefully this video was helpful for you guys. Hopefully this helps you make a decision if you're kind of on the market. These are two newer reels for 2021, 2022. I think they're solid, both of them. So 
pick your budget, pick your poison, pick your choice. It is all preferential. So that's fishing. That's the way it is. Like try things out. What I like, you might not like. What you like, I might not like. That's the way it goes. But again, hopefully this is helpful. Hopefully this video was fun for y'all. If you liked it, be sure to subscribe, smash that like, ring that notification bell so you can see when we drop more content and tune in Thursdays, 8 p.m. Eastern. We go live. It's a ton of fun. Love to see you there and talk to you in chat. I'm going to keep fishing with these. I'll give you guys updates later. You can follow me on Instagram if you want to see more pictures or more breakdowns on them coming in hot. We'll see you guys on the next video.